kiss for you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Welcome to my another video on Android app development and so guys this will be the part 3 of my video series on login and register your user using the PHP MySQL using retrofit in Android studio okay guys so so we will continue and here now we can create the login user dot PHP uh, class so for this first of all we can write php the syntax for the php and then we have to specify the connection so for this we can write connection equal to we have to write my i connect because we need to connect to the, the database so first of all we have to specify the local host then we have to specify the pass uh, the username and the password since the password is empty so we we let it be empty and then we have to specify the database uh, table so for our database table or the database sorry so the database we have is harun db so we can write yes harun db so we can say harun db okay and then we uh, now we need to receive the email and the password so for this we have can store them inside our email variable so for this we can say email equal to and for this we can write post and here we can write email then for the password we can say post password okay so we can receive the password and then we now need to check if the password uh, if the email uh, email and the password are correct and present in the database or not so for this we have to generate the i mean execute the Query. So for this we can say query check user and we can say equal to select static from student where email equal to and here we can write email and password equal to password okay and then now we need to uh, we need to execute the query so for this we can write result equal to my sqli query and inside this query we can we have to first of all specify the connection and then we can specify the query check user and now we need to check if uh, it uh, returns any number of rows or not so if does not uh, it, if it does not re return any number of rows then it means that there is no user so here we can check if my sqli num rows and of result and here we can check if it is equal to to zero then we can say response uh, okay so we can create an array with uh, success index and we can say it to false then we can also say response of index message and we can name it we can say user not found all right and inside this else part since the user is found so now we need to log in so then we can send the success to true and the message that the user logged in successfully along with all the details okay so for this we can uh, we can have uh, i mean we can fetch the row so we need to fetch the row to so, so that we uh, we send back all the data of that row so for this we can simply say row equal to my sqli fetch asoc and it then say result okay and then we can simply say response of index success so we can make it true then we have the response message equal to user logged in successfully and then we can send back all the data so for this we can say response 
then we have email equal to row of email similarly for the username we can say equal to row you do row the username then we say response phone then we can say row phone then we have the response and it should be the password and it's password okay so we have all the rows here i mean we have the array response so uh, so now we can uh, json encode it so for this we can say echo json encode and inside this we can send a response and finally we can close our sqli or we can say my sqli underscore close and then we can specify the connection okay so now the connection is closed and finally we uh, we close the php script okay guys so i think that you have understood the concepts like we use the connection then we receive the values of email and password then we write the query select static from student and then we uh, we executed the uh, we executed the sql uh, query then we checked if there are number of rows is equal to zero or not if it's equal to zero then we specify false to our uh, response uh, success and then for, uh, for the response message we can say user not found then we if the user is found then we need to fetch all the row from that from the user like the user data then we say response success is true then response message equal to user logged in successfully and finally we uh, echo the json encode of this response okay so that is enough so i think if we okay so let's click on okay so guys uh, inside this login uh, user method we have the own response method so there we can check if response is not equal to null and it should say that okay so response dot body because response will always be true so we can say body is not equal to null then we can say student model student model equal to response dot body all right and then we can check if student model dot is success it means that the user successfully logged in so we can simply say toast uh, login activity dot this and then we can say login successful okay and inside this else part we can simply say or not lob, or we can say user not found also we can specify the message so for this we can say student model dot get message okay so there are many things which we can do and i think now that is enough so we can uh, control i mean we okay so i think because there will uh, there will uh, not be any data so we cannot check if the user is present or not okay so i guess if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you and goodbye okay before uh, closing the video let's just add the uh, i mean we can add the rows so for the student we can say insert then we have let's say id1 email will be user at gmail.com then we have the username user we have phone number and we have the password okay we click go and now Okay, so the, that was the 
wrong one so we have this one student okay so we can insert the data so for this we can say one then we have user at gmail.com then we have the username as then we have the phone number then we have the password and we click on go then you can see one row inserted so if we click on student then you can see we have this user at gmail.com so we can now connect our phone our mobile so we can open the samsung flow so that i show you the output okay so now our application uh, i mean our, our mobile is uh, connected so i can uh, run the app on my phone and it is saying that we have the error Okay guys, so that was the error. So we can remove this error. And yes, now the error has been removed and now we can run the project. Okay, so now our application is uh, running and if I input some random data and if i click on login so you can see user not found okay but if i write the right one so let me see what is the right one so we have user at gmail.com and password is password okay then we have the password as password and if i click on login so you can see login successful okay guys so i think that you have understood also i will be uh, doing the proper uh, way of uh, logging in and uh, registering the user so please watch my next video uh, video part okay guys so if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you and goodbye